Okay, Topaz Video AI version 4.2.2 is now released. And with it, we have the update also uh, of the plugin inside DaVinci Resolve. They added two times and four times upscaling inside DaVinci Resolve. I have tested first inside the program uh, just to see how it behaves. And um, I took the same footage as this, the, the, the previous videos. Some people hiking and then uh, I'll just zoom it in so we can see the difference. I have applied here stabilization and also an enhancement using Proteus interlaced progressive. So clearly we can see that on the left side, the image is kind of blurry and um, pixelated. Topaz Video AI did a great job like smoothing it and uh, getting rid of the, the, the pixels mostly. It's still a 720p, uh, so it's not great resolution. I didn't, I didn't uh, apply um, uh, a bigger output resolution for this test. I wanted just to test uh, how the enhancement and stabilization uh, would work directly inside the program. So I'll be playing back it so you can see. All right, we can see it's really, really, really much better. If you pay attention on the, on the left side, you're going to see a lot of artifacts going on in the um, original footage, which doesn't happen here after uh, the enhancement was applied. Check again. A lot of artifacts here going on here. Mostly uh, the program got rid of them. Now what interests us is how is is this plugin working inside DaVinci Resolve. So I went inside and uh, did some tests. I have already applied the plugin inside this footage. As you can see, it's not enabled yet. So here I can play back the footage normally. If I hit play, it goes smooth. It's not stabilized. Let's try to apply the plugin. All right, as soon as I apply the, the plugin, the AI model that I, uh, that I chose is Proteus. And uh, I can see already that there is an improvement in quality. And, um, but here we go, let's play back. And again, four frames per second is far from being a good speed for working. I tried to mess around with this, these uh, AI models to see if I had uh, any improvement in terms of speed and uh, no, the, the answer is no. Uh, every single one of them uh, has the same issue. Another thing that interests us about this release is the fact that you can change the output resolution. but. Check it out. Well, as soon as you change the resolution, let's try two times. The plugin zooms in the image. And it, sh it shouldn't happen like this. We should have an enhancement for the image quality, but not zooming in. And if I go back to the video tab inside um, Inspector, and transform and try to zoom out nothing happens i'll be waiting because it's uh, it's so slow that maybe it can give a response a little bit late but nothing is happening so uh, here we go here we go it got back so it's uh it's so taxing on the on, on the system that even uh, uh, um, a simple move which is zooming in and zooming out in your footage takes like forever to happen. I have here also um, applied the cache fusion output. I turned it on so I could have a better playback of this footage, but even though I'm playing it, it's 7.5. It's not even close to what I would expect as a, being a good speed to work. So here we go. Uh, and then we have the, the same image just next to it. Original, nothing applied. The, the plugin is not applied. 
and I will try to apply um, the super upscale inside the Vinci Resolve. I'll check it on two times. Noise reduction. Let's move it on again. It's not good. Let's try it three times. A small increase. Let's try now four times. Okay, things start increasing a little bit in terms of quality. When I apply four times upscaling inside the Vinci Resolve. But I have to say that with the uh, Topaz Video AI, the upscaling is, is, uh, is better. I'm zooming in and out in the viewer, not, not using the video, the X and Y um, feature that we have inside the Vinci Resolve. I'll put it back to fit. I'll establish to the, the normal parameters for the zoom, the initial ones, and I'm waiting it to be applied inside the footage. And it, it takes a lot of time when you use the plugin inside DaVinci Resolve. Okay, at least we know that for, for quality, the plugin is way better than um, what uh, DaVinci Resolve offers. I'm applying a super scale of four times using medium sharpness and medium noise reduction. So, all right, th this is it. Um, in the future, I'll be doing some tests using other other um, features that DaVinci Resolve has to improve image quality and comparing with the uh, Topaz Video AI plugin. And I can also compare with um, the program, with Topaz program, um, to see what we have in terms of quality um, and the speed. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.